Hello guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to create this nice looking logo. So let's start. Okay, let's start. So let's get the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. And now zoom in and hold up to get the two cursors and just copy holding shift to make it parallel. Okay, so then press Ctrl D to repeat the action. Do it multiple times. So this is enough. Okay. So select all of them and go to window and search for symbol and then just drag it inside the symbol here. And now you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it lines and press OK. And now you have it inside and now it's grouped as one object. So now you can actually delete it. And now we have to get the circle tool or the ellipse tool and draw a circle holding shift to make it proportional. And let's color it something bright so we can see what's gonna happen later. And now press on it and zoom out and then go to effects, 3D and revolve. And you would have this shape here. So just change the angle slightly so you can see the middle section. And then in the offset, just increase it slightly as well. So it looks like a donut shape. And then press on map art and in the symbol, just scroll down until you find the lines you created. Okay. And then press scale to fit. So now it fits everything. And you would see here there's two lines stuck to one another. You can just elongate it from here until all the distances between each line is equal. And now we can move this slightly here and you would find there's invisible geometry. Press on it. And now we would have this shape here. And press OK and then OK and we would have this shape. So what to do next? So we have to delete the lines underneath and keep the lines on top. So press on it and go to object, expand appearance. OK, so now we can select each part by its own. So we need to delete the bottom parts. So let's search for the bottom parts. Here's the bottom part. So keep clicking on it until you select only the bottom parts and delete. And then let's search for the others. There's some here. Keep clicking on it until you select only this delete. And there's some here. Keep clicking, then delete. And there's some here. Keep clicking, then delete. And there's some here. Keep clicking and delete. Okay, we're left with this. So when you want to color it, let's go to the fill. You would see there's a question mark here. So let's say I want to color it red. It would color everything. So there's something wrong here. So press Ctrl Z, go back. And you would notice there's some circles inside. We need to delete those circles. So right click on it, ungroup. Then right click again, ungroup. And then right click, release clipping mask. And now we can select the circles. Select this circle here and delete and select everything so you can know where the circles are and there's one here select it delete select everything there's one here select it delete select everything there's one here delete and there's one here delete and there's one here delete so one here delete it and there's two more here so we need to kind of zoom in and select this part here, right click, ungroup, and then select only this part here and delete. And there's one here as well, right click, ungroup, and select only this part. It's hard to select this part. And delete, no. See, it's very hard. You need to zoom in and select only this, delete. And now when you go back and select everything, now there's no question mark anymore. Now you can color it whatever you want and it would color. So now let's make it a bit smaller, holding shift to make it proportional and place it here. And now let's give it a gradient, double click on the gradient tool and give it a random gradient. And you would notice there's some disconnection. So let's get the shape builder tool and now connect the lines to one another. So here, this line is disconnected into three parts. So with the plus sign shape builder tool, just drag and connect it and drag on this one and connect it, this, and for all the others. And when we're done, just select everything and go back to the gradient. And now double click on this one and put it on RGB and put it red or put it dark red and then go to this one, double click on it and put it RGB and put it bright red or maybe orange. 
and it looks fine so now we can maybe move this slightly here and put it on 40 opacity and maybe add one more here and put it on zero and now when we want to look at it it looks like it's fading with two colors okay so now we're left with the text get the text tool and just click once and go to characters and put it on Microsoft T Beatty and 140 size and place it here and let's write O space A space D space C space A space K Oat Cakes okay so we place this here it's just a random name of a company and we're done